Hello there folks, my name is Great Poe, and welcome to my tutorial on spawning in items using Param Studio. So, what is Param Studio? Well, Param Studio is a Param editing tool for most of the Souls games. Uh, Param, if you didn't know, they're pretty much just like, they control how most things work, so... Yeah, it's a pretty powerful tool, but we're mostly focused on that one feature for Dark Souls 3 that it has is quite unique, is you can spawn in items, and... Why do you want to do that when Cheat Engine is a thing? Well, some people don't trust Cheat Engine for obvious reasons. Um, can be a little finicky with certain multiplayer games. If you have it running, it's just cheat. they just instantly ban you. Um, and also just sometimes uh, some mods have stuff sort of hidden or you're trying to find stuff and they don't have Cheat Engine tables, so you're trying to find IDs. It's a little bit of a pain. Um, this makes it a lot easier to find certain items, particularly if you don't want to use Cheat Engine as well. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that comes into the third thing. It is intended just for mods. Um, using this for just vanilla is probably a bit overkill because um, you have to create an entirely new mod in order to be able to spawn in vanilla items, which just would be kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. So, just stick with Cheat Engine if you're doing vanilla. A lot of stuff will work better there, but yeah. Uh, this is just for mods. Like, so your big mods like Cinders, Convergence, Ashes, Hollow Overhaul, Blades of Fashion, all that stuff. So, yeah. Let's actually get the two things we need though. So, first of all, we need UXM. So UXM will unpack your game for you. Pram Studio requires your game unpack to actually run. So, we need to grab this. So we need to head over to Files. Menu Download. And Slow Download. And save that. Cool. And then obviously Param Studio as well. So first of all, let's just scroll down here. It has got some requirements. So make sure you've got all these requirements. Uh, if you're missing any of them, then you'll have some issues. So grab all that. Uh, then scroll back up here. Go to the releases. And grab the top one here. Don't grab source goes, grab the top one here. And save that file. Cool. And that would have gotten you. These two things here, so Prime Studio and UXM. So we're going to start with UXM, just open it up with any extractor, drag and drop that out. So your WinRAR 7 zip needs that obviously, just anything to extract it. So now we've got UXM, open it up, open it UXM.exe. So now we need to find our Dark Souls 3 exe location. So the best way to find that is through Steam. So it's right click on it in your library, go to Manage, go to Browse Local Files. And that'll pop up here, and then you can actually see your exe is in here. So this will be the location of your exe. So you can actually take that, just control C that, copy it. I'm going to close that now because I don't need it. So then I'm going to go browse, and then I got the top here, and I paste it in, and hit enter. So it'll take me to the folder, and I'll be able to find it and shove them in the exe. Cool. And then click unpack, and it'll unpack it. I'm not going to do that though because I've already done it, and it takes quite a bit of time, so. That's all done. Uh, it'll make a dingy noise when it's done, so you know when it's done, and you'll be good to go from there. Uh, now for Prime Studio, so open that up. You're going to need to create a new folder. I'm just going to call this Prime Studio. And going to control A, and then drag and drop all that into there. And that'll just quickly do that. Cool, i close that now. And now we're going to actually take a look at some differences between certain mods. So I've actually already got my game folder open here. Um, so we're going to take a look at Cinders and we're going to take a look at Blades of Ashna because these are two good examples. So if I go into my Cinders, so it's actually for Burning Battle, but I'll be using a different one when I actually show things later. Um, this here already has a project.json file. So this project.json file is what Prime Studio uses, it's also what Map Studio uses. So most mods will have these, like I think. Hollow Overhaul has one, uh, pretty sure Convergence has one, um, but stuff like Ashes, if I go in all these Ashes folders, yeah, they don't have one, I don't know, Blades of Arshina doesn't have one either. So for those you need to create a new project, but for other ones you need to just open a project, so a bit of a difference, um, we're going to go through creating a project, but it's a lot simpler just opening one up. So we need to go to File. We need to go to new project. So name your project, whatever. Does not really matter. 
the directory is going to be your mod folder. So, for example, it was going to that one, but since I'm doing this for Blaze of Ashna, open up the BOA folder and it would be into this folder here. And now we need to select our executable. So that is your Duxtree.exe once again. And you're going to want to use loose params. And uh, don't load default row names, don't select that. And create. And it's going to take a little bit. And boom. Uh, we can just quickly check if we go to equip param weapon. And I scroll all the way down to the bottom. Should have the Fool's Ultra Greyhelm at the bottom. Also the prosthetic tools. Uh, some of those are unused, so just ignore them. Just point them over get you anything. Um, so yeah. But now we're actually going to open up one so we can actually spawn items. So I have Cinder's currently loaded. So I'm going to open a project. Uh, Cinder's DS3, Cinder's, and project.json. So sorry about these Cinder's project. This will take a little bit longer. It's slightly larger params. And I can quickly check in here if I go to equip ram weapon once again. Uh, we've already got here. That clearly isn't vanilla. Oh yeah, King's Court stuff. Cool. So now I'm actually going to open up. Actually minimize that. Minimize all this. Open up Dark Souls 3. Always takes a little bit for me, opening up Dark Souls 3. Whenever I'm doing tutorials, whenever I'm modding, whenever I'm busy, it's always so damn slow. <laughs> I haven't updated my Cinders in uh, quite some time as well either. Uh, let's open up my test character, a lot of hours apparently. My second test character, by the way, my first one had to get deleted because of a uh, certain item. Kind of broke it, unfortunately. Uh, oh, it's doing no bone play stuff. Hello there, Firekeeper. Cool. So now I can actually... I might need to do something with OBS, actually, because probably not going to... Okay, yes, I'm going to. So let me turn off uh, Game Capture for you guys. So it's going to pop back over to Param Studio. I can actually probably... Ah, oh, there we go. I can shrink it down somewhat. There we go. So I can see the bottom and I can actually see that it's spawning stuff in. Okay, let's resize it a bit. Cool. So let's give myself, I don't know. Uh, what's a good of user of this thing? I guess a lightning court staff. So then you go to game and you go to spawn selected item in game. Also change the weapon level. If you really want to, so I can spawn that in game. And I get lightning kick score stuff. So this is actually really useful if you're spawning um weapons that have infusions or different levels. Um armor, by the way, is a quick prime weapon. So this is all your armor. Um pretty sure all the green stuff is the ones you're looking for. Um you can search for names up here, just hover over this and just right click on it. So if you want to find something, you type so let's just say name king and you can see we've got the king's armor there so I can spawn that in if I wanted to um, rings are uh, equip param accessory so I can search oh, name ring of favor and I could get the ring of favor plus five if I wanted to just really easily just spawn select item in game um, equip param goods this is all sorts of stuff in here so, Luring Skulls, uh, all different resins, pendants, all sorts of stuff in here, souls, all sorts of useful stuff in here. Um, just a simple way to put it, a Quip Prime Weapon is weapons, a Quip Prime Protector is armor, a Quip Prime Accessory is rings, and a Quip Prime Goods is anything within that category. That includes spells, by the way. So I look in here and I went, name, Soul, you can see there's a close soul arrows, soul guys, and all that stuff. So spells are in a quick brand goods, and yeah. Um, and that's that works for everyone. So even if we're doing this for the Blaze of Ashna, which we had to create a project file uh, for, it works the exact same way. Uh, it uses to get some broken items too, so if I actually. Uh, I think if I were to go to a quick brand accessory, I'm just going to show this off. Uh, not 
accessory protector. Yeah, the Consume Kings. Uh, uh, actually, I think it's name. Yeah. DS1 Dragon Head. I think I'll grab that. <laughs> this is already completely broken. Not gonna have an icon or anything. Yes, go protect the name. I think I can shove it on my head though. To the oh, shut up, Firekeeper. Uh, probably be either at the very top or at the very bottom. Very top. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it has no stats at all, but hey. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, anything else you guys need clarified? Any other, any other help you might need? Uh, feel free to pop down in the comments and just ask me. I'm always willing to help. And yeah, once again, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.